Hey, Kamochi's kids. It's Mr. Taylor back with you for another Kamochi's lesson. During our last lesson, we talked about the feeling silly. For this lesson, I want us to give a drum roll on our desks or laps for our Kamochi's friend that will help us to learn about our next Kamochi, or in English, our next feeling. Now, everybody give me a drum roll. And here he is. Here's Cloud. And Cloud is here with us to discuss the feeling disappointed. And here is what it looks like when Cloud feels disappointed. And here is how you spell the word disappointed. And here is what disappointed may look like in general. We typically feel disappointed when someone or something did not meet our hopes or expectations. We may sometimes hear our parents or other adults say that they are disappointed in us for our decisions. And usually they feel that way when we have done or said something that was not aligned with being a Kamochi's kid. Can you show me what a disappointed face looks like? And how about a disappointed sound? <sighs> now, Cloud is going to share some times when he has felt disappointed. Sometimes I feel disappointed when I do not get to eat my favorite dessert, butterscotch pudding. Sometimes I feel disappointed when I can't go outside to play with my friends. Sometimes I feel disappointed when I did not get a gift that I hoped for. And sometimes I feel disappointed in myself when I did not listen to my teacher and I do poorly on my classwork or a quiz or test. Thanks for sharing that, Cloud. I know that it's not typically easy to talk about experiences that are disappointing. Now, it's important to know that disappointment comes in different sizes. You see, sometimes we feel a little disappointment. Sometimes we feel a medium disappointment. And sometimes we feel a big disappointment. And nobody likes to feel disappointed, but we all feel disappointed sometimes. Something that helps us with disappointment is saying, maybe next time. This means that when we want to do something and we can't, we feel disappointed, but rather than feeling mad or frustrated, we can think, maybe I'll get to do it another time, or maybe I'll do it better next time. Here's an example. You may ask your parents something like, hey mama, can I play video games? And they may say something like, no, not now, it's time for bed. And we then can say something to ourselves like, maybe next time, or, oh well. And Cloud is back here with us to say that when we stay hopeful or positive, it often helps us to feel better about the situation. Or, in other words, our disappointment is a little smaller. When we keep this maybe next time mentality, we are being Kamochi's kids by being respectful, responsible, kind, and resilient. Now, Cloud and I are grateful for the way that you have listened during this lesson. Please take care. Remind yourself that there's always next time, and we will see you next time, Kamochi's kids.